I'm still cooking down with the vegetables in it. Sorry about the noise. But I'm still cooking down with the vegetables in it. Uh, when it gets down about halfway, I will remove the vegetables, run it through my flour sack cloth, and get it nice and clean, and then continue to cook it down. Here's my chicken bouillon. It's taken a long time to dry. I should have cooked it a little more. But once you think it's dry, start breaking it up. And if it doesn't snap, it's not quite dry enough because we're going to make powdered bouillon this time. So see how that bends in places? So I'm going to break it up in smaller pieces so that I can grind it. And some of it's nice and dry. Just snaps right off. And then I'm going to put it back in the dehydrator because you really want it crisp. Otherwise, it's going to get stuck on your blade. And it's a nightmare. So, and use a, a good high temperature. Do about um, 145, 140 if you can go up that high. Um, depending on what your dehydrator does or what it's capable of doing. Go up as high as you really can for the most part. If you haven't got an Excalibur, don't go up all that high. But come close. So I'm going to keep breaking this up into smaller pieces. And uh, we'll get it back on the dehydrated. Then we'll grind it. Okay, final product. Chicken bouillon. <clears throat> I got a nice big jar full. Boy, was this some work. So what I had to do is I had to over dry it. See, it's a nice powder. Uh, what you got to do is you got to grind it up in your coffee grinder. Right here, Mr. Coffee Coffee Grinder. And then dry it some more. Because it will clump when you use your grinder. And you have chicken bouillon. I would say an eighth of a teaspoon is a cup. And then you can go up or down from there. But it is really, really good. Really strong. Absolutely no salt in it. And it's homemade. The benefit of the powder... The benefit of the powder over the cubes is a cube. You're stuck with the cube. The powder, you can determine what you want. It almost looks like coffee, doesn't it? And as you can see, the chicken is a little lighter than the beef. But it's, it's pretty dark. So keep that in mind that there are different ways, but you're going to spend a lot more time trying to get it this way than if you just leave it like that. I meant to tell you I added cornstarch to keep it from sticking back together. About, I think it was probably like a quarter cup of cornstarch. This is a week old, worked out pretty good.